Hello again, Covert Jaguar here. I have today another video about uh, some of the changes to the Buildcraft power system. Now, first I want to clarify that this will not work in 3.7.1. It's not there yet. But, it will be in the next version. Oops. Anyways, uh, what we're going to cover today is how to set up your engines so they cannot explode and so that they can respond to power demands as needed. So basically what we have here is each engine has a gate. This one actually controls all of them. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll be doing working with this one. As you can see, it's off at the moment. There's no power being sent to it. Now, to start, we'll look at the gate. We have three triggers. The first one, this is a new one, not in 3.7.1, is the power requested trigger, which is true whenever there network needs power from this particular wooden pipe. It can only be placed on wooden pipes, no other pipes, this, this uh, power requested trigger. And this is the one that controls demand on from the system. Now here we have an engine red. If the engine's red activate this red pipe wire. You see this one red pipe wire on here? It activates this one red pipe wire. And when that pipe wire is activated, it cannot emit a redstone signal because this is an AND gate. Both these triggers must be true for the redstone to be true. This one's got different actions, so it's not part of the this first conditional here. So. As you can see, it occasionally comes on whenever the system... If I put an uh, even smaller pipe on here... That should be the smallest pipe. It's 8 megajoules. And most of these engines should turn off eventually. See, there they go. Uh, that one appears to be have room in the buffer still. They'll turn off. There it goes. So, we only got one engine running now, and this one here will probably come on occasionally. Because these engines output 6 megajoules, which is not quite enough for this pipe. So, this one here, see, it just turned on. However, because of the cooldown timer on the combustion engines, it will not activate right away. So, I'm going to build us another engine here, so you can see what I uh, what I have done. So, we have our wooden pipe in our engine. We'll fill it full of fuel. And then we need we need a gold gate, gold and gate, and some red pipe wire. And put both those on. And then once again we do power requested. Uh, although I want to show you we do have another one called power overloaded, which works on any power pipe, and it triggers whenever the pipe turns red. I'm not sure how useful that actually is, but I figured I could add it just because. Um, so, power requested, and red pipe signal off, and engine red is the shutdown condition. And then these are both redstone signals. So you see this one's typically false, which means this is typically true. And this is true whenever the network needs power. 
So as you can see, the engine is running to fill up the buffer in the wooden pipe, which is 1.5 thousand, no, yeah, 1.5 thousand megajoules buffer. It's pretty small. So now that the buffer's full, it's shut off, and there's no power being requested from it. But we can bump the network up. And you see all these engines came on. It's currently drawing down power out of the buffer. Once it gets below half, the buffer's half empty, it'll come back on again. But I'm not sure if it's going to make it that far because... Oh, there it goes. Yeah. There's a fairly large number of engines on this particular network. In fact, if they were all running, we might be pushing the boundary of the quartz pipes. But anyways, uh, that's uh, the easiest way to allow your network to respond to demand. You can do more complicated things if you wish and actually shut the engines off if your machines have no work because they will draw power when idle. Uh, even if they're not doing anything. So, it's a small amount of power, but you can find they, all these uh, lasers have triggers, is, is has work triggers or something like that. Work scheduled. You see, you can trigger off that if you wish. And turn them off if they have, turn off the engines if they have no work scheduled. Anyways, that's how you keep your engines from exploding. And the nice thing about this is even if these engines have no coolant, like this one here, has no coolant, it will eventually overheat. And because of that third trigger on the thing here, it will shut off and cool down before starting back up again. So, because yeah, you don't really want to use the combustion engines unless you have such a gate system set up, because they make a pretty big crater. Like you see all these bricks. There was an engine sitting right here, and it exploded. So, anyways, uh, this. Uh, been another feature of the new power system and this is uh, Covert Jaguar signing off and I'll see you guys next time